your friendly professional makeup artist and for today's video i'm going to show to you how i do my no makeup makeup look for photo shoot or for models or it can also be called as beauty uh, editorial so if you are looking for a channel that shows a very detailed uh, makeup tutorials then this channel is for you so if you want to see of this video then keep on watching and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel you could click the description box below doon sa mga time capsule or time na naka blue color and you can skip this and straight to the tutorial i would like to shout out fifi she's one of our uh, friends in mommy's group usapan skincare routine makeup tutorial tayo dito and she requested this video uh, this video this photo and i would like to explain something about here in this photo kasi this is a model and photo shoot ito so bakit ganun ka glossy bakit ganun ka perfect ang skin of course may kasama yung lighting may kasama yung editing and yung makeup na ginamit dyan na very light uh, very subtle yung foundation pero may konting may dagdag dyan ng blush and bronzer para makita sa light and of course model. Pag yung model kasi madalas na nagiging model namin is maganda yung skin, meaning walang texture. Meron lang siya uneven skin tone pero wala siyang pimples, wala siyang uh, texture sa skin. So okay, so what is no makeup makeup look? What is nude make nude makeup? Parehas lang yung word na no makeup makeup tsaka nude makeup. Ang purpose noon is just to enhance the natural skin tone ng client mo. Yun lang yun. Um, hindi ka pwede magdagdag masyado. Kaya nga tayo nag ng natural eh. No makeup. It's also how to achieve no makeup makeup look. So, paano natin gagawin ito? Kailangan, for the no makeup makeup look, you are going to use less product. As in, less makeup product. More on the skincare, less on makeup products. So, no makeup makeup look is how can you deceive the eye that you are not wearing makeup pero may makeup ka. I hope it makes sense na, na gets nyo. Yun yung purpose ang no makeup or nude makeup. No, that we could deceive our eyes na walang makeup pero nakasuot ka ng makeup. So what else? For doing a nude makeup, again, I mentioned you have to use the natural skin tone ng client mo. From the foundation, from the lipstick, from the eyeshadow, from the blush, kailangan nakabase ito sa natural skin tone ng client mo. Yun ang tamang paggawa ng no makeup makeup look and nude makeup. And higit sa lahat, last, no makeup makeup, kailangan walang makikitang trace ng lines, walang makikitang trace ng bronzer line, walang makikitang trace ng nose line, walang makikitang trace ng lip line or eyeliner or yung masyadong carved na kilay, wala niyan. Kailangan as in very very natural. So, I've already cleansed her face and for today I'm going to use um Lux, this is Lux H A B H A Miracle Emulsion. So, kung ang model mo is combination or oily skin, then use a moisturizer and primer na suitable sa kanyang skin type. So, for now, as you can see, yung face niya, we will 
you're going to correct, kung ano lang kailangan i-correct, like, uh, under the eye, may mga konting discoloration, like, on the side, uh, we will do a, a little concealing lang sa mga, sa mga marks, and that's it. So, if you are going to use foundation, use a lightweight foundation, a water-based type, or um, a CC cream or BB cream for a more natural look. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear in the shade of uh, Golden Sand. And then, of course, when doing a natural or nude makeup, supposedly, it's the matter of also of how you apply. Uh, yung pressure para hindi magmukhang may foundation yung skin ni model. So, we are aiming for a natural and enhancing the skin lang ni client. So, importante, importante, importante rin dito is yung pressure when you apply the foundation sa skin ni client. So, use a little amount since yung skin ng model mo or ng client is already prepped little amount of foundation na lang ang kailangan. Actually, um, sobra pa nga to eh. I'll be only using a little amount of the product. So, I'm going to use a brush. Pwede rin naman sponge kung ano yung preference nyo. So, I'm going to use a little amount lang. And then, I'm going to uh, scatter it pa siya para mas light and evenly go. everyone, after the foundation, now it's time for us to assess kung ano yung dapat i-correct sa face ni model. For her, wala ko nang ikita ng darkness. And if everyone, if you have a model or a client na medyo brownish, uh, yung dark under eye circle niya, I would be suggesting you use a little, hindi marami, a little amount of orange corrector pag super dark. Okay? Pero pag fair skin siya, tapos may light brown, brownish dito sa under eyes niya, then I would be suggesting you use a lighter peach type, orange, orange peach type na corrector bago kayo mag-apply ng uh, foundation or if you want, after ng foundation, corrector, and then concealing. Hindi pwedeng mag-over apply kayo ng corrector because may tendency yung mag sa concealer mo. So, okay. So, since for her, I will be using uh, Maybelline. This is Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer in the shade of number 30 and light. So, I will be combine, combining these colors. Okay, for the editorial no makeup makeup look, uh, maganda yung highlighter if you have a liquid highlighter. Kung wala naman kayong liquid highlighter, you could apply the highlighter after na magsakay ng powder. In my case, I will be teaching you a trick. You can use any powder highlighter, combine it with any moisturizer, a little amount of moisturizer. Or kung meron kayong mixer or thinner na pwedeng uh, gamitin for highlighter, you can do that. So for me, I've used a uh, MAC Soft and gentle na highlighter. I scrape some of the powder nito and then naglagay ako ng uh, moisturizer. I've combined it. So, uh, yun yung magiging uh, cream highlighter ko. For the highlighter, please note na hindi dapat maging obvious because again, no makeup makeup look should be uh, natural, hindi obvious. So, even the highlighter, ang totoong technique ng highlighter is um, you apply highlight, pero it can only be seen if it catches the light. You know what I mean? Kailangan hindi obvious. Kailangan, pag nag-hit lang yung light, doon lang makakita yung highlighter. So, for example, I've already applied at the sides of her face. So, on the side, up, down, high pa pa. Doon yung pala makikita yung pagka-highlight ng skin.
Okay, so for the blush, I'm going to use a cream blush. This is Rose Quartz from Shuyumura. So, ganito siya. And then, I've combined it with the matching shade ng foundation niya kanina. So, again, I'm going to repeat again. When doing a no makeup makeup look, even the blush, kailangan it works on her skin tone. Hindi pwedeng too bright or too dark. So, we aim for a natural flush. Um, you might not see it here kasi masyadong bright yung ring light pero meron na siyang hint of a uh, blush na. So, I've combined a foundation in rose parts from Shuyumura na, na cream blush. So, next part is for editorial no makeup makeup look. Uh, yung nakikita nyo naka bushy brow, the trick there is using a brow soap or brow wax para mag stand up yung hair strands ng brow ng model. So, here, I'm using full brows uh, uh, as a uh, soft brows ng model ko, si Lara. So, I've already sprayed a little amount of water. I'm going to bend this disposable mascara one and I'm just simply uh, getting a little product lang dito. Then always comb first or brush first the brows before applying the brow soap. Okay, so you have to let the brows uh, dry for a moment and then once it's dried up, you are now going to use a taupe eyeshadow, uh, taupe uh, brow shadow or a light dark brown or soft brown, uh, this kind of shade. This one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I have the soft brown and I also have the of, uh, ang gagawin lang natin is you have, you see this kind of line, so parang kita yung flesh so dyan ka lang maglalagay ng uh, brow powder or brow pencil or brow pen yung mga nakikita mong dapat i-fill up lang yun na yung lalagyan natin to make it more natural lang and to make the bushy brows more thicker and more you know, bushy
guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. And I would like to say thank you to all my subscribers here in YouTube, in Instagram, in Facebook. Um, thank you for believing in me. Thank you for appreciating my videos. Thank you for appreciating my professional work as a makeup artist. And um, this milestone na, na, na achieve ko on this journey, you are part of it. And thank you to my previous uh, bridal clients, to my makeup clients, para sa din to. And guys, please don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. And I would like also to shout out to YouTubers of the Philippines vloggers philippines and to fifi who is part of osapang mommy skincare routine and makeup tutorial tayo dito sa mga admins don uh, jerry kate uh, members meryl sa mga kilala ko don hi and thank you for your support so guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and share this video to your friends na gusto matutong mag makeup god bless us all bye